Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to uh, run and compile uh, C Sharp files in Term UX. So, and since C Sharp is so similar to Java, I'm also going to demonstrate this for Java. Java is actually easier to do this method on Term UX, but uh, let's go ahead and write, get right into this. So, you need um, <clears throat> one primary tool, and that's called Mono. Uh, obviously you need a text editor as well, but it's kind of implied. Uh, if you don't have a text editor, go ahead and do uh, package install vim or package install neo vim, whichever one you prefer. Or, I mean, what else is also available? I like vim and neo vim. But uh, yeah, so the tool you need though is a uh, mono. So, you know, search mono. You should see something, uh, yeah, mono stable right here. Is what you need and as you can see cross-platform open source .NET framework and if you don't know about .NET uh, you know C sharp is not compiled to machine language like regular C or C++ she uh, C sharp is compiled to intermediate language just like Java uh, that runs on a uh, you know a virtual machine um, so yeah uh, so anyway go ahead and do package install mono I already have mono, so it's not gonna, yeah, it's not gonna download. And um, in doing so, you get a program called MCS, which is Mono C Sharp Compiler. And uh, you can also do the command mono followed by an exe file. So I made a file called hello world. Not CS, right? So I have this uh, simple hello world uh, C Sharp program, right? Cool. So go ahead and write a program, have it do whatever you want. You can make a hello world one just like me to show that this works. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, <clears throat> MCS dash out uh, hello world dot exe, hello world dot cs. Now I'm putting hello world dot exe and hello world dot cs because that's the name of the, uh, the file. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, so, you know, if your file was called, like, my awesome program, you do <laughs> my awesome program that exe, my awesome program that cs. But, uh, you know, if I run this, it's going to create a .exe file. <clears throat> and, uh, rip. Okay, yeah, anyways, um, oh, wait. Never mind. Um, yeah, so, anyway. Now I have this exe file, so I can just go ahead and do mono hello world dot exe, right? So, oh, how can you run an exe file in Linux? That's the executable for Windows. Yeah, you <laughs> you can't. Um, you have, that's why you have to put this mono command first, and the mono, uh, you know, the mono program will run it. So you see, hello world. Uh, so this works for anything. Like if I made another program that just added one plus one or whatever. Use another folder so you don't see all the other clutter that's in my directory. Okay, so let's go ahead and make one called like one plus one. That's yes, right? Let's go ahead and try to program this real fast to save you some time. I don't really have to do it like that. And this should automatically just turn into a string. Uh, pretty sure that's all I need. Whoops. I was supposed to quit out of here. Okay, yeah, so now again, like I just said, MCS dash out. Uh, you know what you want the executable to be called. So one plus one dot exe. And then my source file is one plus one dot cs, so it will run. Now if I do ls, you see I have this one plus one dot cs, one plus one dot exe. And if I just try to do 
one <laughs> plus one dot exe, obviously nothing happens, right? But if I do mono one plus one dot exe, see, it gives me two. So yeah, that's how you can go ahead and do uh, C sharp programming even on your Android device, right? Uh, pretty cool, at least I think so. Um, I've been making it a thing to see whether or not I can, you know, turn an Android device into a really, I mean, I can, you can do lots of stuff with this. This is powerful. I mean, especially when considering that this is an Android device, people usually think of like Android tablets as, you know, kids toys and stuff, but no, you can do Python programming on this, you know, package install Python. I just showed you, you can do C sharp. Um, I think by default, you can already do uh, C and C++ programming on uh, Term UX, and you can also do C Sharp and even Java, which I'll show you in another video. But yeah, if this, if you found this helpful, um, you know, leave a comment, drop a like, uh, you know, even subscribe if this is more stuff you're into. My channel is mostly tech videos like this, and then also some guitar stuff. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope this was helpful, and have a great day.